हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस ऑन रेफ्रिजरेशन साइकिल अर्लियर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट पेपर पावर साइकिल एंड गैस पावर साइकिल बोथ दिस पावर साइकिल दैट इज वेपर पावर साइकिल एंड गैस पावर साइकिल आर बेस्ड ऑन हीट इंजिन एंड दिस रेफ्रिजरेशन साइकिल इज बेस्ड ऑन रिवर्स्ड हीट इंजिन सो बिफोर वी डिस्कस about the various types of refrigeration cycle we should know what is refrigeration the refrigeration is a term which defined as the which is defined as the process of removing heat from a substance under controlled conditions this includes the process of reducing and maintaining the temperature of a body below the general temperature of its surroundings in other words the refrigeration is a process in which the continuous extraction of heat from a body whose temperature is already below the temperature of its surroundings so refrigeration is in a simple way it is the cooling of a system below the temperature of its surrounding next we discussed on reversed heat engine cycle so here we draw one line diagram of a reverse heat engine cycle so see this is the reservoir thermal energy reservoir which is maintained at temperature t2 and this is another thermal energy reservoir which is maintained at temperature t1 so this is the q2 which is extracted from this reservoir and it is thrown to the surrounding so this q2 is the energy level or you can say the magnitude of this q2 is very low as compared to the energy level of the surrounding so this q2 is not automatically flow to the surrounding so for that we need some extra energy to draw this q2 amount of energy from this reservoir and that q2 has to be thrown to the surrounding so this q2 when comes in contact with this amount of energy that is w net which is supplied to this whole system so when this w net and q2 amount of energy combines together that becomes q1 and in form of q1 that energy will be flow to the surrounding so this is the flow or this is the working of a reversed heat engine cycle so in the previous um lectures we have discussed about the vapor power cycle and the gas power cycle so those are the cases of the heat engine so if we discuss about the heat engine the flow of energy takes place from higher energy reservoir to lower energy reservoir but as this is a case of reverse heat engine the flow of energy will takes place from lower energy reservoir to higher energy reservoir right so the performance of the reverse heat engine is measured in terms of coefficient of performance that is cop and that is equal to the desired effect by the net work desired effect by input so input is what that is the w net if this amount of energy is not supplied to this system so this q2 or this lower energy will not flow to the surrounding so this w net is considered to be the input of the whole system and this q2 is the this is the amount of energy which is desired to be removed from this system removed from this reservoir that's why this q2 is considered to be the desired effect desired effect and this w net is considered to be the input so cop of, of the refrigerator or refrig uh, that is reverse heat engine is considered to be desired effect by input so desired effect is q2 and this is input that is why this w net is equal to q1 minus q2 so the coefficient of performance of the reversed heat engine cycle for refrigerator that is q2 by q1 minus q2 so next we discuss about one of the cycle that is of refrigeration cycle that is reversed carnot cycle 
so in case of vapor power cycle or gas power cycle that is the case of heat engine we have one hypothetical heat engine cycle that is carnot cycle right or the engine which is based on carnot cycle is known as carnot heat engine so now similarly we have another hypothetical refrigerator that is reversed carnot refrigerator and the cycle on which this reversed carnot refrigerator is based or the carnot refrigerator is based that is known as reversed carnot cycle so here we consider some basic components of a carnot refrigerator that is evaporator compressor condenser and expander so this compressor working on or the process which is considered within this compressor that is reversible adiabatic compression process and that takes place in between one to two process similarly for condenser that is the condensation process that is the heat rejection process so this will takes place at constant temperature and that is in between two to three process then expander it means the expansion so that is reversible adiabatic expansion process that is 3 to 4 process in between 3 to 4 process reversible adiabatic expansion process then evaporator it means the evaporation if evaporation with heat should be added to the system it means heat absorption process so that takes place at constant temperature so 4 to 1 process is reheat is absorption process or you can say isothermal expansion process so for this here the ts and pv diagram has drawn so see this is 1 to 2 process that is reversible adiabatic compression process 2 to 3 this is isothermal compression process and 3 to 4 that is reversible adiabatic expansion process 4 to 1 this is heat absorption process or isothermal expansion process so for this ts next we have so this is the ts diagram of the carnot refrigerator or reversed carnot cycle similarly we have drawn here the pv diagram this is 1 to 2 that is reversible adiabatic compression process 2 to 3 that is isothermal compression process 3 to 4 reversible adiabatic expansion process 4 to 1 that is isothermal expansion process so see you have marked here the arrow mark which is considered in the ts and pv diagram or you can say the schematic diagram of the carnot refrigerator that is in anti clockwise direction so this arrow marks indicates that this is the diagram these are the diagrams for the refrigeration cycle if these arrow marks are given in a clockwise direction so we can say that is the case of a heat engine or that is the case of a vapor power cycle or the gas power cycle right so for this we have to measure the coefficient of performance for this reversed carnot cycle we are going to measure the coefficient of performance so that is cop for that we need the magnitude of q1 and q2 that is the heat addition and heat rejection and the net work or you can say the amount of energy supplied to the system so q1 so we know that q is equal to tds right so if you consider q equal to tds so q1 is equal to t1 that is change in entropy so c here that is s2 minus s3 similarly q2 equal to t2 s1 minus s4 but as we know that 1 to 2 and 3 to 4 process are reversible adiabatic process so it means entropies are constant so s1 is equal to s2 and s3 is equal to s4 right so in place of s1 we can substitute s2 and in place of s4 we can substitute s3 so the q2 is equal to t2 into s2 minus s3 so w net is equal to 
wc minus we so that is so here you can see this wc is work done on the system wc and we is work done by the system but here wc we consider to be positive and we we consider to be negative so this is the most important point which we have to notice here because here we know that this is the work absorbing device this is the reversed heat engine is a reversed heat engine is the work absorbing device so if it is a work absorbing device so it means the net work must be the negative must be in form of negative minus so that we already know that's why we consider here in place of we minus wc we consider here wc minus we so this is a very big confusion which is generally comes in everyone's mind why this work done for compression process is considered to be positive and work done for expansion process is considered to be negative right so whatever it may be it is the change in work done is equal to change in heat energy or you can say the summation of heat energy is equal to summation of that is net uh, summation of work work so for a cyclic process the summation of work is equal to summation of heat so that is equal to so q1 minus q2 is t1 into s2 minus s3 minus t2 into s2 minus s3 so w net is equal to t1 minus t2 into s2 minus s3 so we know that the coefficient of performance for the refrigerator that is equal to q2 by w net so q2 is t2 into s2 minus s3 and w net is t1 minus t2 into s2 minus s3 so s2 minus s3 3 and s2 minus s3 cancels each other and the cop of reverse carnot cycle is equal to t2 minus sorry t2 by t1 minus t2 so as in case of carnot heat engine we consider that this carnot the carnot heat engine gives the maximum efficiency similarly the reverse carnot cycle is considered to gives considered to um, provide the maximum coefficient of performance and this is also a hypothetical refrigerator or hypothetical reversed heat engine thank you for watching the video